Good morning from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street, and today is Friday, May 15th. Coming up today, industrial production and capacity utilization are seeing little changed in April. The University of Michigan issues its Consumer Sentiment Index, and the Empire State Manufacturing Index is released. Well, the S&P 500 heads into today at a record high. The Dow and NASDAQ are within 50 points of all-time highs. Microsoft and Apple led a rally in tech shares, and the weaker dollar spurred gains and multinational companies, the bond market has also stabilized, leading to those stock gains. Well, El Pollo Loco had better than expected results on increased traffic and falling expenses. However, shares plunged 13 percent after hours after it reaffirmed guidance that was on the low end of expectations. The company's stock spiked nearly 60 percent in its market debut last July. The shares have jumped almost 20 percent since the closing price of $24 on its first day of trading. And Nordstrom posted a strong bump up up in sales driven by new store openings and rapid growth at its online discount and flash sales businesses. Revenue rose 9.7 percent to 3.2 billion, well above analyst estimates of 3.1 billion. Now, Nordstrom is investing heavily in remodeling its flagship stores in Seattle, Chicago, and San Francisco. Nordstrom shares lost 2 percent, closing Thursday at 74.15. And that is a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.